Hello guys and welcome to Revit Keys. Certainly that Revit Railing tool is a smart tool because they are automatically added by Revit to your stair. But let's take a look at the bottom. So rarely in the real world do stair railing terminate like this. For example, in some building code, we found that the handrail's bottom must extend at the slope of the stair flight for an horizontal distance equal to one thread beyond the last riser nosing. Okay, that's why I create this tutorial to show you how to modify the railing extension. After opening the Revit file, we will start drawing our railing. So this railing will be specific to the stair. So I click on the stair from the circulation panel and I choose the monolithic stair. And I start drawing my stair going from level 1 to level 2. So it's gonna be 4 meter height. I go to the 3D to check my stair and the railing type is the 900 mm type. It can be another type. We can see that the railing stop at the bottom of the staircase. So if I want to extend it, you can go to the edit pass and add a little bit distance and you will get something that look like this. But you see that this procedure extends the whole railing. So if you want to extend the top railing only, what should you do? So I wanna get a step backward by clicking on the undo. So if I go to the railing type, I found circular 40 mm top rail and I want to change this type. So I wanna create a new family. So we should go to the project browser and scroll down to find the families. We expand families and search for railings. We expand the railing menu to find the top rail and we expand the top rail again to see the circular 40 mm. I right click on it and I choose duplicate and I right click again to rename it. So now we have an extension type that we can edit from here. Or we can go to the edit type after selecting the railing to find our rail. So we click on it to change our rail properties. So those are the two ways to get that menu of top rails. So the very important part that we're gonna talk about is the extension. If you see, we have many extension style like wall, floor, and post. If I set it to post and I give it 35 centimeter length and I hit apply, so as you see, I get a little extension and I get a sharp angle. So I put the wrong unit. I have to add a zero to 35 to get 35 centimeter. So let's come back to our menu. You can check the plus red depths so it will extend the rail by the value of one step. So it is something good because some country code dictate to have this rule in the stairs. Also, you can change the extension style to floor. As you see now, it hits the floor. And if you want to add some element to fix the railing to the floor, you can go to the terminations and you can add this floor flange and hit apply. And also you can change the extension style to wall. But wall works only if you have walls on the sides. So let's get back to post. And make sure you uncheck the termination button because it is not logic to have this element connected to the post. So 
So let's say you don't like this design and you want to make some improvements to this top rail. So after putting OK, you have to select only the top rail by using the tab key. And then you go to edit rail. So now you can edit your profile. So usually in Revit when you are in sketch mode, you have pink lines. For example, when you are drawing a floor, a roof, a ceiling, etc. And here we have blue lines and they work a little bit different. So I click on edit path and I can draw, for example, an arc by picking three points, the start, the mid and the end point. And I have to extend every part to hit the arc. And when I finish drawing, I have to click on the finish button. So we change our extension as you see. It changed one rail and didn't change automatically the other rail. So it is an instance change and not a type change. So if you want to do the same change to the other rail, you have to select again the top rail and hit the edit rail and then edit pass. You can do a different change for sure. It is not too much simple to play around with the sketch mode, but we are doing our best to sketch our profile. So here we go, this is how you create extensions for your staircase railing. I hope you learned something new, so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day!